Hello and all, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anand. Today we are going to study about sensory receptors in skin. The sensory receptors, they are actually going to sense or detect the changes in the external environment. It means that anything changing in your outside environment, that change is going to be detected by the sensory receptors. The stimulus which is received by these receptors is then passed to the motor neuron which are present in the central nervous system which includes the brain and spinal cord via the sensory neurons. So here you can see that this is the change in the external environment. It means that you have accidentally picked your finger and the receptors which are present in the skin, they are going to send the signals through the sensory neurons to the central nervous system, which includes the brain and the spinal cord. And in the spinal cord and brain, the motor neurons are present, which are then going to send the signals or the impulse to the effectors. The effectors, they may be muscles or they may be glands and the signals they are sent through the motor neuron and as a result you are going to pull your hand away from this cactus in the skin the receptors detect five senses including touch pressure heat cold and pain now the receptors they are not distributed evenly over the entire surface of the body it means that at some part the receptors they are more and some areas they have less receptors for example the fingertips they have more receptors as compared to the back of the skin similarly if you talk about the relative abundance of receptors the relative abundance mean how much quantity of a particular receptor is present so it is also different for example the pain receptors they are 27 times more as compared to the cold receptors and similarly the cold receptors they are 10 times more as compared to the heat receptors it means that you can feel more pain as compared to the cold and you can feel more cold as compared to the heat if you talk about the sensory receptors in the skin, there are five types of receptors present including nerve endings around the hair follicles, Meissner corpuscles, Pacinian corpuscles, Ruffin corpuscles and Merkel complexes. Talking about the nerve endings around the hair follicles, they are situated at the base or end of the hair follicle. Here you can see this is hair and this part here this part is known as hair follicle and you can see the blue part here is actually the nerve endings which are surrounding this hair follicle so they are going to detect the light touch so any light touch which is going to move your hair can be detected by the nerve endings which are surrounding the hair follicles coming towards the Meissner corpuscles the Meissner corpuscles they lie in the papilla which extend into the ridges of the fingertips here you can see this part here these are the papillas or which are the unequal part of the skin and they are actually extending or entering into these part or ridges or the papilla they consist of spiral and much twisted nerve endings here you can see this is the Meissner corpuscle and the nerve endings they are not straight but they are twisted and complex and each of which ends in a knob here you can see this is the knob knob means that they are going to form something like this cluster the ends they are actually forming the knobs now they are related to the touch or they are the touch receptor then come the piscinian corpuscles they are situated quite deep in the skin here you can see these are the piscinian corpuscles and you can see they are present quite deep not on the surface, not at the uh, tip of the dermis, but inside quite deep in the dermis. They are encapsulated. Encapsulated means they have the capsule which is going to protect them. And they are nerve endings. Here you can see these are the nerve endings which are then protected by the capsules. They are going to receive deep pressure stimulus. Uh, normally, they are located in the limbs. For example the leg part they are located here and then they are going to detect any change in the pressure uh, they are also known to form a base for the vibration senses it means that if uh, any vibration happening in the earth 
these receptors they are going to detect that for example the vertebrates um, when they are crawling on the surface of the earth they can detect the vibration because of earthquake or because of any other changes by these Pacinian corpuscles. Then comes the Ruffin corpuscles. The Ruffin corpuscles they are located in the cutaneous tissues between the dermal papilla and the hypodermis. Here you can see these are the Ruffin corpuscles and they are present in the dermis and the hypodermis area. This part here. It is a single branching sensory fiber which is present in a thin capsule. Here you can see this is a thin capsule here and this single sensory nerve fiber is going to then branch more and more. Um, it is going to detect the skin stretch. Last but not the least receptor present in the skin is the Merkel complexes. They are found in the basal epidermis and hair follicles. Here you can see these are the Merkel's complex the Markle complex they are also known as Markle's disc and they are present in the epidermis here you can see this part here is the epidermis along with this they may also be present uh, with the hair follicles they are single nerve fibers here you can see they are single and they are not encapsulated it means they are not surrounded by the capsule but they are the free endings their function is to sense the gentle touch so that was all about the sensory receptors in the skin if you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section if you like this video subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends i'll see you in the next video